Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Lipica review. <laughs> Today, we're going to be taking a look at the third G.I. Joe classified figure, and all of the reviews have actually been in this new and improved review station. We're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe classified Destro. Now, I do, do not have the running change. I have the first run, which has the oval on the head, if you were wondering, if you even give a fuck. Um, other than that, this figure's pretty good. He was... Him and Snake Eyes were my f most anticipated figures. I just got Roadblock because, as I said in his review, it was just to test the waters of the classified line. And may I say, I really really love the classified line. The classified line has been treating me very, very well lately, and it has given me some of my favorite figures um, of this year, and in Snake Eyes, in Snake Eyes's case, some of my favorite figures of all time. Anyway, let's just get into his accessories. Now, for his accessories, my favorite out of the three is this suitcase. Um, it has, it's done in a matte black, with some gloss right here, and some red to fill in the, um, indents in the sculpt, and then it's kind of reversed here. There's no red, but the matte black is on the indents in the sculpt, and, er, the gloss black is on the indents, and the matte black is where the gloss black on this side is, if that makes any fucking sense. You could just see it clearly. Anyway, it's a done in a very nice sculpt. You have the lines right here, the kind of cobra frill coming down and around. He has his fangs, and just all-around cobra detail. Some nice techie details around here. More techie details. It's more futuristic than a regular suitcase. Nice silver for his handle. And you do have these uh, gray um, buckles, and you can just open up his suitcase. Trivial money, I guess. It doesn't look very good at all, but okay, whatever. But the real reason I really love this is Cobra logo, and then here, which to me, it kind of resembles Optimus Prime's, um, titties, truck titties. If you can see that, they kind of have the same plastic overlay, and then the glittery type colors underneath it. I actually do very much enjoy this. You can see it more up close. Cobra, and some keypad. It's not really colored, but you could do that yourself. But, um, I really, really love this accessory. I think it fits Destro very, very well. Now, on to my least favorite accessory is his gold pistol. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, I don't think, but it's just kind of bland. You know, it's just there. It's kind of just, yeah, it's a weapon. Third weapon, or er, second weapon. That'll just be in the host holster 99% of the time. It is done in nice gold, though. Nice uh, revolver rounds, or, er, yeah, revolver rounds right here. Very, very nice sculpt. And for the kind of in-between accessory, his blaster, his just regular blaster, you can see he has some red right here, some red stripe right there, red right there, same on the other side. Kind of sniperish scope, I guess. It's kind of weird. But um, you can see, unlike this gun, he doesn't have the little trigger holder kind of in case right there but it's just the trigger, and some nice oval detail right there. I really do like this. It's a nice set of accessories, and I'm not complaining too terribly much about them. Now, up close and personal with the Destro, you can see he has the beautiful sculpting. I actually don't mind the oval. A lot of people don't like it, but I really do like it. It just differentiates him um, from, it gives him more detail, that's what I'm basically trying to say. Uh, he does have the lines coming back, lines right here, 
go down like that, go around his head, a square detail right here and punches in right there, square, kind of offsetting the oval right there, or oppositing the oval. And one thing I did notice, or that is very cool on this figure, I didn't notice it, but one thing that is very cool on this figure is that he has black pu or black eyes, and then kind of like a metallic blue iris. I think it's very, very, very beautiful, and I dig it. I really do dig it. Um, I do dig his face sculpt too. You can see his ears and everything. Just basic human face with some added techie details. See right here, it looks kind of like his mask is bolted into his neck and his skin. Which is kind of horrifying when you think about it. He has this nice gold chain with his ruby on it. Popped cobra collar, obviously meant to look like a cobra. A nice shoulder detail in gray. And then that continues into the butterfly joint and onto his titties. And these two are different sculpt. This is more leathery and this is more flat, I guess. Or for the arms, you have this line coming down from his shoulder onto his bicep, and then have some nice wrinkle detail here. Elbow pads on both sides. Gray is continued on the back. More leather detail, more gray by his ass. Silver gauntlets on both sides, but this side has some missile launchers. He has a very nice looking torso. I'm not sure if this is two zippers right here, or just one zipper. Or two layers of... I, I, I don't know, honestly. I couldn't tell you. Gray right here by the crotch. His red belt, or red accents on his belt. Overall, the belt is silver. Straps down to his holster, gun holster, and some very Rob Liefeldy patches. Or pouches. He has some lines from his hips going down to his thigh. And more leather detail right here, and then uh, kind of the smoother sculpt in his inner thigh. Wrinkled up pants right here, kind of like his arms. And he has the beautiful kneecaps. I call them beautiful, but they are very, very plain. Just with some sculpting, they're pretty gray, because they are gray. You have his boots, with some beautiful detail on the front, and then the silver toe. Overall, for Destro's appearance and sculpt i really like mine except he does have a black smudge i think it's where maybe in the factory because i got him out of the package like this but maybe in the factory uh paint got scratched off or something i don't know but there's a black spot not really noticeable on camera just because my studio light is kind of blocking it out but um yeah it's not that noticeable in person either so yeah, that's pretty much it for Destro's uh, sculpt. Here he is next to the my custom Siege Megatron and uh, Optimus Prime, 80s hero, 80s villain, 80s villain. I do quite like, um, you know, how Hasbro's doing more 80s cartoons, because uh, I'm a fool for that shit. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is just a comparison, because I know most of you are Transformers collectors, so if you want Destro, here is your scale. Here he is next to my other G.I. Joe classified figures. We have the G.I. Joe classified Snake Eyes and G.I. Joe classified Roadblock, both of which I have reviewed and both of which I will link into the description if you want to check those videos out. Now for articulation, we can get him looking up about that far with a hinge and then a ball up into the head, look up about that far, and then using the dumbbell joint in the neck, he can get up about that far. Down about that far using both joints, and his uh, necklace is very loose, but I don't really mind. It, I don't really mind. His arms can move out about that far, down about that far, full 360. 
butterfly joint, which, like the other G.I. Joe classified figures I have, pretty useless to be honest. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, gets you about that far. Uh, disc hinge at the wrist can go up and go down. I really like that for gun slash uh, sword wielding figures. I have an ab crunch, goes back or forward about that far, arcs back about that far, and he has a ball joint at the diaphragm. Tilt, tilt, everywhere around. Uh, his belt does kind of ride high. You could just put it down, but if it's too down, you could just put it up like right there. I find that pretty good. That pretty, pretty much suits my needs. Uh, his legs do go up about that far, but they are on a drop-down hinge, just like the other figures. So he can kick up about that far with the drop-down hinge, and back about that far with the drop-down hinge. One thing on mine is, if I pull this one, or this leg down, this leg goes up. If I pull this one up, this leg goes down. So what I have to kind of do is just kind of press him on the table, and get his feet level. But that's... Just mine. Uh, I haven't seen any other complaints about that. Thighs full. Double knee. Boot swivel. Foot can go up about that far. Down about that far. And beautiful ankle. Ankle. Yeah, ankle. I don't know why, but I thought I said wrist. Ankle rocker. For articulation on this guy, I think it is noise. I think this figure itself is very nice, and um, yeah, let's move on to my final thoughts. Now, overall, what do I think of this figure? I think he is very, very good. I think he would work better with the uh, Cobra Troopers from Cobra Island and the upcoming Cobra Commander, but you know, those figures are going to be a little harder to find. And Baroness. I remember that thing they had in the cartoon. I think this dude is really good, but he would work better as a more army-built-up Cobra than just him. And that's one of my complaints, is that, like, 90% of the um, first... Uh, toy line, or er, the first wave, I'd like to say a, a fourth of this wave has been completely, uh, Joe's. It's been completely Joe's and not a lot of Cobra. Uh, I would appreciate it if they did, you know, Roadblock, Snake Eyes, Duke, and then Scarlet for Wave 2, and then they did somebody like the Baroness just on herself in Wave 1. I think that would have been a little better, just a little bit. I think um, Scarlet is going to be the shelf warmer, warmer just because who the fuck wants Scarlet? I really didn't like Scarlet or Duke in the cartoon, and looking at Scarlet figure, mm, having second thoughts, and the Duke figure I still want, but I just haven't had the money to pick him up. But anyway, I give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. Um, some of the paint on his chest is kind of sloppy. Um, I don't really like his pistol. Mm, his The scuff on his head really annoys me sometimes. But, um, overall, I like this figure. Um, another thing that brings it down a notch from being, like, perfect is, like, on the other G.I. Joe figures, butterfly joints don't work perfectly. Um, they're kind of crammed in there too tight to work. And on mine, his thighs, his drop-down joints really do annoy me. They get on my nerves a lot of the time, but... It's an easy fix. Anyway, I pass it on to you guys. What do you guys think? Are you ever going to pick them up? Or do you just want to collect Transformers? That... fair. Um, if you liked the video, like it. Subscribe if you like my content. And ring the notification bell if you never want to miss one of my uploads. Um, 
I'd recommend this figure to somebody who's just going to be picking up Snake Eyes and Destro. I'd recommend him. Uh, if you're just kind of wanting to get an entry-level figure, go for Snake Eyes, and if you like it, go from there. Get Snake Eyes and Destro, and if you don't like the line, then you have a goodie and a baddie. Or you could just sell them. They're the most expensive, so if you don't like them, I'd recommend selling them. But um, overall, I think mine's pretty good. Anyway, uh, I have an Instagram, Skywarp underscore rules underscore 1986. I have a Reddit, u slash Skywarp underscore rules underscore rules underscore 1986 and i have a twitter skywarp rules 1986 anyway thank you guys for watching peace